Tonight we are in Houston, Texas, USA, live from Toyota Center. Good to have you with us tonight. And this building has a lot of history for my man, DC. Beat Gustafson here, Roy Nelson back in the day. We'll see what's in store for these athletes tonight. This arena has been great for the American Kickboxing Academy. Keith Velasquez was able to retain his title in this arena, too. And also home to the greatest NBA franchise in history, the Houston Rockets. Tonight they will blow the Tonight the UFC blows the roof off the building. But every night James Harden and now Russell Westbrook put on a show in this fantastic arena. Spoken like a true Golden State Warriors. Clutch City, baby. Clutch City. Right Clutch City, baby. Which hat you wearing today? <laughs> I'm wearing a Rockets, but we're in Houston. Oh, that's a nice strike. Beautiful leg kick throw. Well, you asked her on Thursday, how soon are you going to shoot? Very early. Nice job getting the fight to the ground here in the early go. Sometimes taking that shot too early can find you can find yourself like Ben Askren. But she knew that she held a huge advantage. She implemented exactly what she wanted to do, and now she finds herself in a dominant top control position. Ben Askren not going to be too happy if he plays EA Sports UFC 4. He won't be happy with his boy. <laughs> Shams back into full guard. Well, Nama Yunus is in half guard. All right, full guard now, DC. And just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions. Move the half guard then continue to try to advance to either get on great ground and pound or just positional advantages in the grapple. So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total strikes have now landed for Rose Namajunas. <laughs> Big shots being landed on both sides here. He gets the elbow up into the target. Big kick land. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, she landed a huge knee to the head. And now a knee. Well, Nama Yunus's knee strike here is blocked. Oh! Nice punch there by Sean. Just misses there with the left. Just over two minutes to go. Shooting for the takedown here. Oh, the right hand is there for Nice leg kick land. She lands a kick there. She might be the best kicker in this division. Nice takedown land. Throws the right hand there. Chong's in half guard now. Let's go. We got a screen. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to be. Shang's looking for that arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. She's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes it. A lot of people will not even pass the side control right. anymore because it seems like you're giving your opponent an out. But she loves the fact that she has such a great guillotine, and if they turn one way, she'll attack it. So you only have one option to escape this young lady, and by going to your knees, she always throws her hooks in right. and just gets brutal damage off from the top position. Nama Yunus is back in full guard now. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot to the top. I'm not 
sure her striking has ever looked better, BC. Finding the range with relative ease here today. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Nice straight punch. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I'm not sure how many more of these body kicks she can take. No, she can't take many more of these. These are damaging, brutal body kicks. And you see her reacting now to every one that is landing on her. All right, so here we go with our next round. Will the narrative be the same? In the previous round, it was all about her kicks, the power, the accuracy, really a sight to be in. I don't know why it would change. I don't think that her opponent has received the advice that she needs to make the necessary adjustments. She will go out there and start doing the same exact thing, which will, in turn, put her right back on the receiving end of those nasty kicks. Time and her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Punch over the top. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 80 total strikes which have landed for Wei Li Zhang. And the accuracy rate about 74% thus far against Rose Nama Yunus. Nice punch lands. Thug Rose gets hit by that kick to the body. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice leg kick. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant... Well, in the men's game or in the women's game, the execution on a double leg takedown doesn't get a whole lot better than that. It does not get much better than what we just saw. Her confidence in finishing the shot is unmatched. Oh, she's got the full mount now, DC. Her ground and pound is fantastic, and maybe that'll open the door for a submission. It will have to open the door, because if she rushes, she'll fall off to the side. In the top position, especially in the full mount, you've got to be very, very patient. You cannot rush. Everything needs to matter, because it won't take much. You're sitting on the person's chest, or sitting on their hip, fully on top of them. It won't take many of the big ground strikes. Take your time. Find your submission. She needs to do that. Punch, punch, punch. When her opponent gets desperate, latch onto an arm, go and attack that arm bar. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm in range. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Let me see that hook now. Nice leg kick there by Jean Whaley. Oh, effective strike there by Jean. Well, Nama Yunus is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, nice strike there to the body. She has worked the midsection to great effect here in this round. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Nice shot to the body.
ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Sean. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work at putting the money in the bank with that ground upon. Money in the bank. Chong's attempting a rear naked choke now. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. Back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. All right, next round is underway. In the previous round, it looked like maybe tap or snap, tap or nap, neither. Let me fight off. I mean, it's amazing that she was able to withstand that attempt. I thought it was over. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Back and forth we go! Great tempo to her striking game tonight. She is staying busy in a nice series of punches again there. She's in a great flow state. The hands are flowing, the head movement's going. She's doing a fantastic job. You love that flow state. I love it. Another prince position. And she landed a kick there, DC. That was well done. Well done. She does a great job of recognizing the opening and getting the leg there. 130 total strikes have landed for Wei Li Zhang. When there's a throw, there is a land. 68% the connection rate against Rose Namajunas. Oh, a nice land there by Rose Namajunas. There's a definite fluidity to her striking here tonight. She has now had more than a half decade under Trevor Whitman there in Colorado. Trains at altitude. And once again, the strawweight queen putting her best foot forward here tonight. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Real quick leg. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. Less than three minutes to go in this third and final round. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and she raises the knee and lands, so pretty good shot. Fire there, DC, the seminal blow of this fight this one. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Effective punch there by Nama Yudis. All right, getting late in the fight. This should be good. It's been all action thus far, and we will see which woman steps up. These women have laid it all out on the line. They have sustained this pace the entire time. Who is going to be able to finish the job? Well, Nama Yunus's lower jaw does not look good. I'm not sure it could be any more swollen. She continues to fight through it. Let's see how far she can go. Big kick. <laughs> Way to hide that leg kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big body keep lands. 
sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Lashong's looking for that arm triangle now. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Oh, that right hand is on point. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Well, Nama Yunus is back in full goal. All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her, and you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that strike to win a pretty easy decision. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. To play the winner by unanimous decision, John Magnum Wayne! All right, so pretty clean effort out of her, really, from the opening.